stakeholders and security outfit owners gathered here today to look at the security challenges that have been thrown up by the enforcement on, of the ban on commercial tricycle operators in Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria. The theme of the day, the ban of Okada and its security implications in Lagos State, saw security professionals under the ages of asses and stakeholders alike gather to prefer solutions to the recent challenge at hand. Guest speaker, the Commissioner of Police for Lagos State, Hakim Odumosu, was well represented by his deputy, Mohamed Ali, who spoke on crime rate as a result of the ban, while stakeholders in attendance also made salient contributions on the matter. Now that we are having this one at hand, definitely you should know that we too are not unmindful of the fact that most of the riders too are from those neighboring countries of ours. And we are going to also sit down and look at it holistically with a view to working out modalities in which we will now get across to these people, arrest them, then hand them over to them. The rest is for them. They know how to do their job better. Ours is to arrest, and that's trust. We will do that. So that collaboration has always been there. And then we we'll continue to synergize together and ensure that uh, the state remains peaceful. We saw it across various spheres of the social media. The return of some of the people that were operating the Uganda in Lagos. So the question is, if the statistics that I stumbled on and some other colleagues stumbled on is true, what had become of the level of cross-agency collaboration? Because if they infiltrated, if they came into Lagos, they probably may have infiltrated through the borders. It's gratifying to know that the crime rates are significantly come down after the ban on Okada and the other tricycles. And you said you are watching because you expect that those people that have been pulled out of business will be, some of them be indirectly engaged in crime. This um, from uh, various speakers, uh, most importantly our guest speaker, he's been able to share with us what has been done so far and uh, the gains that uh, they've made. And uh, members have also been able to give him feedback as to the implication of the action. Uh, in re uh, for real, nobody here is against it. Uh, but the question some of us are raising is, what next? So we need to try and close gaps. Um, if we restrict, which is one of the things we try to raise, that there is need for government to actually try to change the narrative get people to understand that it's not a ban, it's a restriction. Well, today's meeting was actually something that uh, we are already expecting in terms of uh, there's a change in the policy or decision making in Lagos in terms of uh, the back riders and tricycle riders. And uh, we brought in uh, the uh, Commissioner of Police to hear from the police perspective and also to help be able to give a feedback on our expectation. And uh, we're able to just yes, understand that the uh, decision was made based on the fact that uh, to reduce, to increase security and to reduce insecurity in our environment, to also ensure that we can be able to monitor who does what. We also were aware that there are some locations that are not restricted and uh, which the bikes can actually uh, ride. We also understand that there's also not only about security, it's also to reduce this risk to life. And um, all these decisions were well made, but people were concerned, as we're always concerned since 2016, that they've been going forward and back in terms of what are the alternatives that the government provide to make life easy for the populace. And um, yes, the government is working on it, but we still feel that there's a lot to be done. And uh, this is where we think that uh, uh, private investors should be encouraged in terms of so many aspects to be able to 
his days and also people should be allowed to be able to do their work well it's in a day it has been a day talking security with very critical to the productivity of center of excellence lagos state where stakeholders and security owners uh, outfit owners in lagos state under the ages of assets have come here to deliberate and to discuss the security challenges thrown up by the recent enforcement ban on commercial tricycle operators in Lagos State. And they have requested for better collaboration between private sector and government-led security agencies for better policing and better security in the state. And meanwhile, the Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumusu, who has been a keynote speaker at this event, has said his boys will continue to do the best they can and will not rest on their earths in providing better security for the state. Henry Williams reporting for Love World Plus News.